Hello gamers, what's up boys? You're gonna be seeing this video while I'm gone on a on a trip, so uh, here comes the uh, daily YouTube content when I'm uh, uh, gone for that one. I'm gonna be playing the Cobra, which is a tank I think many of you love, which I think has a disgusting and pretty broken clip potential. I mean, you know, we've got the Waffentrager back now for the event, and the Cobra... It's not really like the Waffen Trigger, but on the other hand, it, is. it has that potential to remove tanks basically in one clip if you can pen though. This will be the biggest thing here. So we get Siegfried Line Assault Tier 9 Battle with Tier 8. It's a lot of penable tanks CS, PTA, Boras, Pantera, Udes, even 90, M4190. All these things pretty easily penable, even the E75 and 50TP penable as well if I get the right engagement against them where I could see their lower plate. I'm gonna knock over this 3 here. See if I can spot anything before I decide to drive towards the middle of the map. Let's see. I still have six seconds on reload. Gotta keep that into account. I spot a defender. It's not really the easiest thing to pen for me. Uh, and then I spot all the E75. I spot all the 50 TP. I don't want to risk here against the 50 TP. <coughs> However, I think I have the issue that the 50 TP is going to want to stare at me for a while. It does look to be not exact uh, case. E75 side turret. Take 513 from the guy. Can put him once more. There we go. So 1.1 in one clip. Didn't pen two out of four. Did get shot by the 50. No, I actually got shot by the E75 for 513. So not the worst start. Getting one kill free damage. My team has won the start in the meantime. So I'm gonna be moving with them. Um, towards that part of the map, actually. I think that makes sense. With a 16 spotted in the back, with a 03 is on the zero line. Now, I gotta find an engagement on this uh, 50 TP, which is favorable. I can't really get there just yet because the TNH is alive. So I gotta deal with him somehow. The defender is there, though. I can't really do anything against the defender whatsoever. I'm not going to be really penning that at any given moment in time, so let's just keep driving, see what we can find. The TNH does seem to be getting farmed slowly. Very slowly, but the 50 TP is the main prize here, I know. If the TNH would somehow die, that would be awesome. At least go on reloads. <coughs> So I'm just waiting for the TNH to like, at least fire. We need him to fire at the very least. It's minus one. We did get spotted though, for this. Because <coughs> the 50 TP came back, we didn't kill the TNH uh, just yet. The 50 TP will peek out again. There he goes, he fired. The 55A is now pushing in though, which means that I'm going to be pushing in too, unspotted. Which allows me to maybe get behind the 50 TP. Let's see. I'm gonna be driving the long way here. See if we can get a surprise on our on our fella from behind. We did get immediately spotted for that, sadly enough. We should still be able to commit on this though. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Now we need somebody to kill him. Quick 2k in one clip. Pretty solid in that regard. There was something up here, we did trade away the remainder of our HP for this though. 30 seconds left, but it's so easy to do damage in this when you actually find tanks that you can clip, that you can pen. Now we're just gonna get one more clip out to get 4k, which I should be able to do in 20 seconds. Maybe the CS59 would be a target here. But we of course need the defender to shoot for that. Without the defender shooting, I'm gonna need him to shoot once more. Don't think I have an angle on the CS59 even where he is right now. Again, gotta wait for the defender to shoot. As long as he doesn't shoot, there's no real potential. Come on, defender. Make a shot, buddy. Come on, defender. There we go. Yeah, I don't really have an angle on the... Mm. Oof. Look at the defender could pull up and let's reload. We, we have an opportunity here to reload once more in this game. We're only up, at, we're down HP actually. 
Not anymore, though. Um, so we'll use that to our potential. The Uda 03 is getting... <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I do really want to get the CS59 in 18 seconds, if it is possible. So I'm going to have to find an angle on him. Perhaps from here it will work. It will also involve somebody peeking him, though. I don't think I can just peek and clip. We could try, though. I mean, we could try. No, the Uda 16 peaked at the perfect time. We were about to clip out on the CS53. Uh, CS59, actually. We are about to ruin his life. I think we would have gotten every single pen there as well. But you can see, if you can pin your shots in the core, but this tank can be an absolute uh, menace to deal with. Um, it's unfortunate that Uda's peaked out at that exact timing, though. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't think Waffen should exist. That's why I'm completely against the reintroduction of the Waffen Trigger into the game as well. Um, in that regard. Because I, I, I don't think we need that kind of tank. I, I don't think it serves the game any good to have tanks that can remove other tanks in one clip. Same for Cobra. Same for Shitbine. Um, they are toxic tanks in my opinion. That doesn't exclude tanks like Chief and 279 etc. as also being toxic. But this is like a different form of toxic like one mistake uh, can be completely punished by this kind of thing um let's go towards the hill now actually because they were most likely to meet their mediums there like the 121b and the leo which are uh pens for me not the easiest pen not the um outside of that what else can we like pen srv 263 lower play the act tiger standard b 254 215b yeah two so for all of you asking, uh, it's the the hatch with 210 pen, really good shell speed though, 490 alpha, and then you have the heat with 268, with 360 alpha, and then you have the regular hatch with 120 pen, which I'm not sure why you would ever even load it in this thing, because the ammo capacity is not that high. You can run out of ammo if you, especially if in a longer game, if you start shooting from the beginning of the game. So I don't think I would ever load that personally. I don't think I would give it any value um, to have it. Because, like I said, I don't think it adds anything in your tank to have that low pen hash. I mean, if you have intuition, you could intuition to it. But I just feel like uh, in a lot of the scenarios, you're, you're kind of like doing a bad thing for yourself by having it. Because if it is a long game and you do start running out of ammo, you'll always have that one left. Okay, so I'm going to clip out the standard B. I'll take one from the Chieftain Proto. Oh. 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 I, he's pregnant. He's pregnant. Magyar, a Hungarian gamer, gets destroyed by Belgian uh, cheater. Yeah, you can see their clip potential, right? This is the toxic point I'm talking about with the Cobra. The fact that it can do that. It can do that pretty reliable to low armor tanks. And I, I don't think low armor tanks need any more counters than what they have already. I mean... You already have the, the amount of hold on tanks, ID, shit barons, etc, etc, that all counter um, hold on tanks. <coughs> so you all counter low armor tanks, intuition, and also countering. Um, on top of that, you have intuition, which also, yet again, counters um, low armor tanks because you can just switch to one. You can just switch to each and just spend them for free. Uh, is there gonna be a peak here? I think I keep my last shot for a second. Because the, those guys there are getting pressured really hard and I don't have time to reload. But I do have time to get one more shot on them. I think it could be a mistake. Like my team could potentially have enough... Uh, take too long to kill them that I could have gotten the reload off. But it, I don't think so. I think it was the right choice at the end of the day. I do want to start driving down. 57 minus 1 at the very least. Maybe reloading now. So we'll go through. 57 will die before we get anything on him. We have 20 seconds now. One more clip here will solve our uh, solve our damage so we get at least a nice 4k again in this. And you can see this kind of shit's damage in the bright scenarios. We're not the fastest tank in the world, but that's fine. We just want to get towards the. SRV, the Leo. Um, maybe get some more damage on them. Let's see if he gets put it out now. 
Let's see. Mm. Quick fire. Let's get him one more. There we go. Now for my mans over here. Ah, wanted to yoink to kill. Probably should have kept the last shot and go for the 263 or Leo, but it's okay either way. Probably should have kept it. So a quick 5k in a four minute battle. There's Cobra doing Cobra things, man. Like if you can pen, if you know how to pen, if you know how to shoot, this tank can be disgusting. It can really perform. Um, I have 19 seconds now. I might get one or two on the Leo with a bit of luck here. A little bit of luck here. We're going to pressure him so he maybe goes backwards. Six seconds. We do reload before the Mino. I don't think we're going to get it though. Nah, nah, it's going to be close. But no cigar. Unfortunate. Um, 5k. Quick, quick battle. Quick battle. 5k on the Cobra. So far, you can see the disgusting potential this tank has. If you do indeed just find the right scenarios. I did most of my damage from the hill by clipping a standard B and a T-54. Which both didn't really have a chance to do anything. Or could stand a chance against me. Um, but yeah. Again. Do we really need this? The potential? Do we? Does it add something having this in the game? Let me know what you think in the comments, uh, comments down below. Um, what do you think if this should exist? Even thoughts on like shit burn because like I hate shit burns. I hate the, the alpha that they have, and the the threat potential that you know at any moment you can make one bad peek and it could be your last because you're obviously never sure where they where they really really are. So that is that. Now we get Redshire Defense. So since the change spawns, this map is a bit better. I will say. Um, because now you can... Uh, now you can counter A-Line pretty effectively, actually. With, uh, with the Cobra, can, well, with Cobra, any tank. You can counter, uh, can I counter this A4 crossing? Because of the change spawn, the spawn is much further back than what it was now. So you can actually deny them from getting into A4. And if you do that, you can start playing towards B4 or counter the guys on there. You do have a trance. You still assume that you're going to lose the K-line because it's just the way it is. You can't really win it. IMO. And it does look like they're going to have just nobody crossing over whatsoever. Which I guess is a good thing for their team. Trifurter driving Trudeau. Do not want to be spotted by him. I do want to clip him if possible, though. This is where to go. Let's just say that that clip wasn't worth it. <laughs> I mean, we got the chart for two, man, but at what cost? You know, we got the chart for two, but at what cost? That's the real question here. Uh, yeah, I could have gone away with the first two and just be being chilling, but uh, well, I got a bit greedy, I think. Just like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit greedy. A, a very small amount of greedy. I want to take it one now if I can, actually. The Muffin Drag is actually going to have a good position here to shut these guys down. They get two shots already. Right, let's take it one. I think it makes sense here to go towards C1. Uh, to potentially go to A3, A4, get some of them on the side. We are unspotted, let's keep it that way. We don't really have anybody to shoot against spotted with. I should feel bad for ruining the poor Trifor to his game. Because, you know, it wasn't very nice what I did. I'm kind of curious to who's spot on my Waffle Trigger though. Like when thinking about it. I mean, then again, a Waffle Trigger has zero camo, so literally anybody and anything would spot it. So there is that. I'd like to get across here. I'm not spotted. That's okay, I'm spotted. It's still fine though. I'm gonna be able to take the bushes. But I'm waiting until I'm fully, fully de spotted though. I don't know if this was a good play at the end of the day. I have my doubts about how effective this is going to be. 
I don't think I can actually shoot at the chief. They're not really exposing whatsoever. I may have driven all this way for nothing per se. I need this guy to overpeak. I don't want to blow my load early. Mm, but it doesn't seem like he wants to do anything. I regret a little bit driving here now. Just a little tiny, tiny bit. I think we still just hold our presence as a secret. I mean, they know I was here. Could have actually hit that. I want to get a good clip here. I might need a good clip to get the damage numbers up, so I just want to hide. Once I start shooting at the center, and you can always blind fire me back, and I am a one shot. I mean, at the center, not the chieftain. When the links moved away, it's fine. For 30, might peak. No. Rev. No. I'm surprised the Chieftain Proto hasn't tried to peek though. I think it's because I was spotted over here. So he dies. Mm -mm. I need the rev. Mm. We're almost peaking enough, but I just really want this shift and prototype to peak. Like, I want him to think I left or something, you know? It doesn't seem to be happening, though. I think my V4 just made a mistake. He needs to go back. I'm really just waiting for a mistake from the shift and proto. That's not enough of a mistake. That wasn't it, by the way. That wasn't it. I tried to kill the ref. I didn't pen him. Could, uh, could argue that was a mistake. Come on, Chieftain, buddy. Less fear here, but less fear here. I don't know if it's good to wait here or not. Spent too much time waiting for a mistake from this guy. Mm. See, this is the kind of game that it's rough in um, Cobra because, like, I got my first clip, but I traded so badly for it that I had to spend the rest of the game passive and now waiting for enemy mistakes. It's not gonna be that good. This is not going to be that good at all. One more clip would kind of save in here though, but... I mean, I really do mean kind of. Couldn't really save it overall, but... We'll make it look better at the very least. I mean, they know I'm here. I was spotted driving here, so I'm not really a surprise anymore at this point. I mean, I'm really surprised by how passive the Chieftain Proto is, though. No, that's an extreme amount of passiveness. Oh, he's going. I did pen the shot on him. I was waiting to see if maybe the E75 comes as well. Penetration. 
If I could get the lost pen, that would be amazing. Somehow. Yeah, we're to try. We're to try. The links will kill me now, though. Worth the try. Worth the try. Uh, this is the kind of game that is rough in the Cobra because I made an initial early mistake. Let's try and ram him. I don't think it's gonna happen though. I think it's a bit too fast. Ugh! <laughs> Got him! <sighs> 15 seconds. I don't think I get another reload off here. Center is coming. Batchat's coming. Poor Link. So, I mean, we do 3.3 here, I think. 3.3 so overall not too bad but you can see this is disgusting clip potential this tank has i think this also answers the question of if this tank is worth it or not like you gotta decide for yourself if it's worth it but you can see what the cla the, the clapping actually that it can dish out if you allow it to go uncontested um this can be a 4k tier 9 it also depends heavily on the matches you get though and the reload 3.3 and this one which is not too bad, it ends up with a 4.2 session on the Cobra. Um, for equipment, I use uh, stabs, vents, and improved aiming. I like it, I think it's solid, it's what I would use. Um, then for the field mods, you could totally get the uh, module durability, to be honest. And then it's aiming circle size, extra reverse speed, and with these I use neither of the two because I don't think it's worth it. I mean, you could take the slightly extra longer reload, but for me, it's fine either way without it. Um, anyways, gamers, I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. If there's another tank you would like me to do in the future, leave it down in the comments below. And I will see you guys all uh, back on stream or on the next YouTube video. Peace, boys. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao.